So, there are the two muscles. There is the supraspinatus and the deltoid, both of which are absolutely necessary for you to abduct your arm. The deltoid attaches here and runs down there. So when it contracts, it will pull the arm up like this and it will come around and it will pull the arm up first movement. Now, the secret to lifting your arm up so that you do not have pain, which is the difficult movement for the shoulder, is that the sequence of firing of these two muscles has to be absolutely precise. As you decide I'm going to lift my arm up, the first thing that fires is the supraspinatus. It has to be. So the supraspinatus fires, it pulls, it sucks the head into the glenoid fossa, pulls the head down. Now, in this situation, it's firm, it's stable, it's low. Now when the deltoid pulls, everything just slides in and the tubercle slides in underneath the acromion. There's heaps of space. Under those circumstances you have free, comfortable, painless movement. If however the supraspinatus is slow or doesn't fire properly or if the supraspinatus is damaged, then the first movement that occurs is the deltoid contracts it pulls the arm up and now as it starts to pull it in the head of the humerus digs in to the acromion and the medical name of that is impingement so the commonest cause of shoulder pain is impingement which occurs with damage or incorrect firing of the supraspinatus muscle. If the humerus gets pulled up and, it, and this digs in there, what will happen is that there are two structures that become damaged. The first structure is the supraspinatus itself because the tendon runs over the top of the humerus. So if the humerus gets pulled up and digs in, it will damage the tendon each time you have that, each time it impinges. The second is that there is a bursa, which is a sac, which runs over the head of the, of the humerus, and the bursa is there to allow smooth gliding, but if this comes up and digs in, the bursa becomes damaged. So you end up with subacromial bursitis and damage to the tendon. The thing that happens now is circular because it hurts and, and the tendon has become damaged and the bursa starts getting inflamed and therefore the tendon is inhibited, the, the muscle is inhibited from working because it's, it's, it's damaged and, and, and the whole thing is grumpy and the, so every time you go to make the movement it digs in more the tendon becomes more damaged, the bursa becomes more inflamed and this is essentially the primary problem that occurs with shoulder pain. When you do impinge under here, the place that you feel your pain is not in under here, but the place you feel it, the place your brain localizes it to, is the outer upper arm. So people, they'll lift their arm up and as they do that, they'll go, ah, and they'll grab the, the, this part here. And this is what's called somatic referral. And the reason for that is that the nerves that supply this area carry on down the arm and the information that reaches your brain is a, an imprecise amalgam of all the information coming from the nerve. So it hurts here 
but the message arriving is not precise and your brain takes a punt and localizes it to this area. So that is the single most important cause. 90% of the time that you have a rotator cuff problem it will be the supraspinatus tendon because it's a weird design fault and once you have that you will inevitably end up with impingement in this abduction movement which is the most difficult uh, movement for the shoulder. Thank you.